I guess really the, the transformation has been um, one that you can see from a terrestrial point of view when you're on the island, that being it being a former industrial site, a mining site. So prior to Ocean Key's purchase and occupation of, of the island, it was just a, a contaminated sandbar, really, um, with lots of machinery that had been broken down. There was very little plant life. Uh, it just looked like a barren wasteland, pretty much. And I think the, the overall goal was to create a dynamic space with conservation in mind and sustainability in mind. And somebody mentioned this morning, it was almost like having a negative bank account when they started. And the idea was to invest in the island and bring its sort of um, environmental balance back to, to, to full health. So some of the major transitions have been the relocation of a lot of corals uh, in areas particularly where um, there were going to be high use, for example, where the ships dock, where they turn round, there were corals growing which have been relocated rather than just taken out. Um, and then obviously on the top side there's been the planting of 75,000 trees and plants and uh, the creation of rock walls and groins uh, and the creation of a lagoon. So physically it is significantly different to what it was four or five years ago. One of the biggest differences that we've seen is when you have to put on a mask and look beneath the waves to see the, uh, the transformation of this area. Um, it seems that, you know, I was never there prior to MSC's occupation, but if you consider um, the activities that were occurring, um, there was a lot of dredging a lot of dredge spoil, so sea grasses would have been coated in, in sediments, there would have been a lot of noise, a lot of activity. Um, so essentially the animals that live beneath the, 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 in the water there, you know, they would have been fairly sparse. Um, so I think really some of the restoration efforts underwater have been some of those huge changes as well. Listening to what MSC had to say what their vision was and their mission, uh, I really believe that the investment in this island is going to be positive for the environment. And essentially, my um, my career, what I do, is about conservation of marine environments. And I believe, um, with a, a lot of conviction, that MSC are doing the right thing. And I think that they are going to be setting an environmental standard um, so to answer your question um, it's amazing to be working with a group of people that have this this vision and the fact that MSC Cruises is a cruise ship organization is almost irrelevant it's a group of people that have a dynamic vision about the restoration of this island um, and some of the initiatives like you know propagating and breeding corals that have you know resilience to certain environmental stressors like uh, uh, heat and uh, salinity and things like this is, is an amazing concept that isn't really um, you know being practiced in, in many other parts so I think that they've taken the responsibility they have as a cruise ship operator very seriously um, and I get to do great science with other great scientists I, I'm certainly going to be pushing with my agenda would be the establishment of a research hub on, on the island. So it would be a destination where international research scientists could travel to, stay on the island, engage with guests, communicate the science, but also conduct the very latest um, conservation uh, research in the area. Because um, it's not just Ocean Key, there's 64 square miles of lease area which incorporates a whole bunch of other islands and other keys. The, the seascape is incredibly dynamic. The habitats are very eclectic. You have seagrass meadows, soft sediments, you have deep water channels. So the opportunity to conduct real uh, frontline conservation driven marine research is, is, is pretty much unparalleled. And I think that um, the opportunity to develop um, a reputation as a destination for researchers is one of the priorities I think they should be pushing for but you know obviously the island's only been open a couple of months there's many other things that need to be considered before 
you know, you could ask somebody that would be a terrestrial biologist, they will have a different answer. But I think within the, the scope of MSC's vision, certainly creating a dynamic space for, um, for researchers and students alike, it's all about education. I think some of the collaborations that we've recently established with universities in the States, um, as well as the collaboration between MSC and my organization, um, are, are going to be the, the building blocks for um, you know, future marine research.